Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brother Fisher Field in Ron Calcano Stadium, surrounded by the Tom Tua track at the Angelo A. Aguirre Athletic Facilities, populated by the Davis Sorio Golf Court and the Barry Ivers Bathroom. I'm Paul Cunningham, joined as always by my compadre, the mailman Terry Ward, and we have Willow Glen tonight against the home team St. Francis Lancers. Willow Glen coming in undefeated, and the Lancers looking to get a victory. At the, the Lancers are with uh, Willow Glen with a 27 0 uh, win over Carlmont, and that makes what seven in a row for them it's going back to last season. So I'm looking forward to a good, good, excellent played football game tonight, Paulie. And who's sponsoring us tonight? Mr. Yeah, Ward? we'd like to tell you that this game is brought to you by KMVT's all sports presenting sponsor, Home Instead. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To them, it's personal. We'd also like to tell you that this game is brought to you by KMVT's All Sports presenting sponsor, the Menkes Clinic. Learn how the Menkes Clinic staff can help you look healthy, natural, and rejuvenated. The Menkes Clinic, helping you take care of the skin you are in. Just about to get underway here at uh, Brother Fisher Field at uh, in Ron Calcagno Stadium. Mappa is deep to receive, as is Beatty. Landed Beatty and David Mappa. Clear skies here tonight. No rain, no thunder, no lightning. No wind. We missed all that excitement last weekend. Yes, we were doing we a game did. in Chicago. We got uh, James Johnson, the senior, going to be kicking the ball. Boom. Wow. Good sound effects. That's deep and into the end zone where it'll be an automatic touchback. It'll come out to the 20. And the Lancers will set up shop first and 10 at their 20-yard line, but a uh, the final weekend of summer as fall comes into play next Friday is the first day of fall. And it, a little chill in the air, not much though. That's nah, beautiful. It's a great, right now it is. great night for a football game. C.J. Johnson, the Lancer quarterback under center. They give to Mappa. Mappa picks up a couple and there's a flag down. We'll see what that's all about. Brett, Brett Bigger, a uh, senior defensive back, he in on here's the replay. We'll see handoff going to the right side of the line. It's a hold yeah, yeah. against the Lancers. Yeah, hold that. Number 40 was in on the tackle, uh, Aaron Johnson, but uh, we had that flag as you can see. So that'll back the Lancers up deeper into their own territory. It'll put the ball on the nine yard line. Lancers huddle up right around their old goal line, break it out. Boy. Charlie Clark is in the backfield, as is Mappa. Fake and a run. Good quick scampering feed. A nice job by C.J. Johnson. Brett Bigger in on the uh, stop on Johnson. Here's your replay. He looked, looked to his left, didn't really see anything, and uh, he had to scamper. Fake handoff. Eyes, everything going right. He just never, nothing was there. Nice little scamper. Jarrell Crooks is also in the backfield. He had been out injured last game. And the Lancers certainly happy to see him back in there. So now in the backfield, you've got David Mappa and Jarrell Crooks, both very quick, very elusive runners. The give to Crooks. Crooks is met in the backfield, breaks a tackle. Dances around and is swarmed over by a host of Rams, or a herd of Rams, I guess it would be. Oh, that sounds good. Another look. Here's your handoff and uh, nothing going. Number 43, Mark Arman broke in the backfield and uh, no gain. Third down and 13 for St. Francis. They're at their own 17 yard line. C.J. Johnson has completed 15 passes in the first two games. 11 of them have been completed 
to Braden Bishop, number 11. We'll see what he looks for here. He's in the yeah. shotgun. Yep. Passing down. Looks in trouble, breaks a tackle, looks to the outside. He's going to run for it, has a chance at the first down, and a big hit before the 30-yard line drives him out of bounds and will force a fourth down for the Lanterns. A great hit, another look at it. Once again, Johnson looking left, couldn't get him. Almost got tackled in the backfield, scampering out to the left-hand side. Got hit, boom, he really got hit. We'll see what their decision is. Some of the Lancer defense coming off the field as if they know what the call's gonna be. They are giving it to the Lancers. Lancers. So a turnover on the opening drive by the Rams. It's deep in Lancer territory. The Lancers will set up shop at their own 18 yard line. Oscar Caballero, the coach, was Halfway out in the field, wanting to hear what the referees had to say. Lancer ball. A nice drive yes. by the Rams goes for Nod, and the Lancers will get their second chance with the football. Johnson under center. Johnson with the give to Crooks right up the, up middle. the middle. He's got a hole. He gets to the outside. He can run. He's ahead of one tackler, one man to beat. He's at the 30, 25. He's caught. Breaks away, 10-5, touchdown St. Francis. Darrell Crooks broke through the offensive line, made one move to the outside, took it up the sideline and into the end zone for a quick six for Boy, the Lancers, another beat, look. That pop right through the, uh, right off left guard and he was gone. Great blocking up front and here's your speed, breaking to the outside, uh, De La Roca, Chase him, could not get him on that shot. Crooks looking and trying to give him a little stiff arm. Number 10, uh, Joey Catelli could not get him either. Great speed by Crooks. And the, the point after was good. Kick is up and good. And a look at the scoreboard. 7.21 to go in the opening quarter. 7 to nothing, St. Francis. Another look at the touchdown for the Lancers. A different camera angle. And a great job by the Lancer offensive line. Not a huge hole, but enough for Crooks to just hop through there and then take off into the secondary of the Rams and outrun the group, push one man off, the only man left to get him, and into the end zone he went. Kicking off is Tyler Deason for St. Francis, deep to receive for Willow Glenn is number 10, Joe Gatelli. Ten and nine. Kick is on its way and it will go to Gotelli. Gotelli at the 20, 25 and oh, it had one man almost a beat. Had a hole to get through, a good saving tackle there by number 32, that was Blake Jarvis. Yep. Another look at it. This Gotelli. Straight up, not too much movement left or right. Found a little hole, and there was Jarvis in on the tackle. Jarvis just climbed aboard and rode him to the ground. <laughs> and that's what he had to do because he had a head of steam and didn't have much of a choice. Revisa from the shotgun. They had a very impressive drive the first yes, time they, they had the did. ball and fortunately had a turnover down at the 18. Here's your handoff. The give to the outside, number nine, James Johnson on the carry. Johnson picks up some good yardage for the Rams. They're running the ball well here. Another look at it. Nice uh, quick handoff. Nine breaking outside. Lancer stop it. They're gaining a good five, six, yeah, yeah. It's sec five yards at a pop here. Second down and five for Willow Glen. 6.45 to yeah. go in the opening quarter. Ram showing a lot of different uh, phases here. Quick hands offs, P passes. Revisa ready. Back to pass. Three step drop from there, wide oh, open. Wide open. Caught on the run and into the end zone. Touchdown, Willow Glenn. And just like that, they come back. Number three, Mike Jenkerson. Just did a fly pattern straight down the field. Straight down, had his Streaked man beat right by. Streaked right down. Yeah, he had his man beat by 
five, six, seven. You can't even see the, <laughs> the Lancer in the pitcher here. Jankerson just flying, great play. Perfect pass by Revisa, nice call by the Rams coaching staff and into the end zone goes Jankerson. Revisa for the point after. Snap spot, kick is up, the kick is good. And with 6.19 to go in the opening quarter, we are tied at seven. James Johnson to kick off for Willow Glen, deep to receive for St. Francis are Landon Beatty and David Mappa. So just like that, the Willow Glen Rams yeah, came right answer back. back. They sure did, they were ready. And like you said, that was a good call from upstairs, buddy. Kick high, deep, and into the end zone for another touchback, and that's certainly keeping the speedsters that the Lancers have back there from returning the kick, very effective. Make the Lancers start their drives on their own 20. Yeah, James Johnson is your kicker for the Rams. He's a uh, senior, 6'1". Give to Crooks, and he has to fight his way for yardage that time. Picks up about five. It'll be second down and five. Better look at it. Here's your handoff. Little juke to get inside, then met head on. About a five yard gain. Give again to Crooks. Crooks looks to go to the outside and is swarmed over. Nothing really there. By the Rams, looked like it was Daquan Cummings that brought him down, number 74. Third down and two for the Lancers at their 28 yard line. Sun is completely down now, it's dark and you can feel that late summer, early fall chill in the air. Johnson under center. The give again to Crooks. Crooks has the first down. Gets out to about the 31 yard line. It'll be first and 10 St. Francis. So right now, three consecutive gives to Crooks. Well, he's the workhorse here. They're getting the two, three yards at a pop. That's what the Lancers like to do. Not breaking it outside, sticking off your tackle and guard positions. When he's healthy, he's gonna get touches. Johnson surveys the defense under center. Hasn't thrown a pass yet. Fake, now he looks to pass. Throws downfield for Bishop. Bishop is open, he has it. He has one man to beat, he's corralled. He's Trying to strip the ball is number 10, Joe Gatelli. He couldn't, but he was able to bring Bishop down Boy. at about the 15 yard line. Here's your replay. Watch Dylan Haysbert falls down. They slowed down. They were both on the sprint. Here's your throw. It was just a little underthrown, and there you can see the ram fell down. Good thing Joe Gatelli was there. Corralled them. He brought them. Trying to get at the ball. He carried him some yards. Nice play. Well, as we said, Braden Bishop has caught 11 of the 15 passes completed, now 12 of the 16 that have been completed this season for the Lancers. So that's a target they like to go to. Landon yeah. Beatty is tripped up in the backfield and may have lost a couple. It'll be, let's say, second and 11. Yeah. J Let her look at it. James Johnson in from the linebacker uh, came right across, and you, you'll see him, boom. Nice tackle, no game. Two yard loss. Four minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Johnson under center. Pitch to Beatty. Beatty tries to break through a hole, does pick up some yardage, gets down close to the 10. Looks like he's tripped up at the 11. Darrell Crooks is out of the game right now. Not sure, he's coming off an injury. Not sure if he's injured again or not. Another look at this yeah, one. Yeah, here's your replay. Pitch out to Beatty. Taking his time, looking for a little hole. There really wasn't much there. He did that all on his own. Nice little speed. Carried him into that. Uh, Three and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Play a little slow getting into the huddle on this. J 
Johnson taking his time. He's and got, he's going to yeah. have to take the time out. Okay, we'd like to thank KMVT's All Sports presenting sponsor, Home Instead Senior Care, for their generous support of this program. Breaking the action, 3.13 to go in the opening quarter. We're tied at seven. Lancers come right out to the line after the timeout. Coach Navarro not happy that they had to take that timeout. Johnson under center, third and about seven. Three-step drop, again looking for Bishop. Bishop has it for the touchdown. And Braden Bishop between two defenders. Willow Glenn knew that they were going to pass. They were going to go to him. They did. And another look. It's a touchdown. Boy, just a beautiful pass. That's why you practice all the time. Just a beautiful floater right over there. Bishop had his eye on it the whole time. Just a nice little catch in the corner of the end zone. It's a little drift pattern that's been in the Lancer playbook for about 35 years now. The kick is up and good. And with 3.07 to go in the opening quarter, it is 14 to 7, St. Francis. Tyler Deason to kick off once again for the Lancers. Deep for Willow Glenn. Joe Gatelli. And James Johnson. Kick is away again. Gatelli steps up. Has it at the 10, over the 20, and swarmed over and dropped at the 23. So a better job by the Lancers on special teams. Mm -hmm. Joe, here's another uh, shot of the touchdown. As you can see, just a nice little soft pass right in Bishop's hand. Had his eye on it the whole time. Well, and that, that little fake of the handle it was only a three-step drop. He just dropped and went right towards Bishop, Bishop again in single coverage and might be time to no longer single cover Bishop. That's where he's gone every piss pass so far. Revisa with an empty backfield out of the shotgun as he has been all night. Quick throw out to his slot back. And yeah, number nine is uh, James Johnson. James Johnson, yeah, he's been playing linebacker to kicker. Pick up a maybe a yard. It'll be second down and nine, another look. Yeah, St. Francis had that one uh, sniffed out pretty well. Got it in and uh, see number 19 in on the stop, uh, Al Aldridge. The give to Crooks. Crooks ducks his head, gets out over the 35, out close to the 37, gets up gingerly, and he's going to bring himself out of the game. So Crooks has been injured off and on. Another look at it for the Lancers. Well, every, every down they run him. There it is, right off left guard. Dragged down, number 50 for the Rams, kind of fell on him. So back into the game is Landon Beatty has the tail back to give to Beatty. Beatty loses the ball, the Rams may have it. And they do. A big turnover by the Lancers as Landon Beatty loses the handle. Down it goes, and Willow Glenn will take over at the 37-yard line of yeah, the Lancers. Watch the, the hand come in from the Rams just uh, right on his arm that was holding the ball. Just yanked it right out. Falling on the bar, mark him on for the Rams. So the young sophomore puts it on the turf, and the... Willow Glen Rams take full advantage. They are down at the St. Francis 37-yard line. Great field position. Revisa from the shotgun. Three receivers, four receivers down to the right. It's gonna be a double pass downfield, wide open and caught! At the five, into the end zone, number 43. Who recovered the fumble. Mark, Mark him on. on. It was a, a lateral pass 
which allowed number nine, James Johnson, to throw Johnson. it again downfield, the double pass, and Amon was wide open. Yep. Boy, nothing number 19 could do. He let him get behind him, A.J. Eldridge. Mm. So some trickery yet again yeah. by the Willow Glen Rams. James Johnson does it all. Kicks, throws, runs, linebacker. Kick by Revisa is up and good. 9.33 to go in the half. We are tied at 14. Another look at the trickery on the part of the Rams from a different <laughs> angle. Right, right back there. Johnson. Nice little toss. It was a nice little toss. Yeah. But he had, a, he had a lot of room. 43, yeah. He was wide open. Amon was wide and open. Amon was not about to be brought down by one man. He yeah. was going to get into that end zone. You got it. He did a very, very nice job by Mark Amon. Mark Amon, a senior tight end, 6 feet, 210. Yeah. Like I said, he, got, he picked up the fumble. Deep to receive for the Lancers, Landon Beatty and David Moppa. On to kick is James Johnson. Who just threw the touchdown pass. Just threw a touchdown pass. Kick is a squib kick. It's taken by the up back and out over the 35 to the 37 yard line. Not sure who got that. Might have been mm. Wolpert. But either way, the Lancers have the ball at the 38-yard line, so good field position for St. Francis, first and 10. Landon Beatty back in the game, so Darrell Crooks still on the sidelines. Yep. From the shotgun is Johnson, first time we've, first time we've seen this. In trouble, Johnson is brought down. As the blitz by the Willow Glen Rams worked, they showed it late, and they came a charge in, and nothing Johnson could do. He tried to get to the outside, but down he came. Here's your snap. CJ, you can see him. They're all coming. Just too many, too many Rams, number 56, Matt Bonoff. Nice job by Landon Beatty picking up one yeah. of them, but when you have... Three blitzers coming yeah. in. There's not much you can do. Matt uh, Senior, he's also your uh, right guard on the offensive line, 200 pounds. Second down and 16 for St. Francis. A little confusion on where they're all supposed to be. Now they're set. Two receivers to the right to give to Beatty. Beatty is swarmed over by a herd of Rams. Yeah, we had a plethora of them. <laughs> Jason De La Roca was... One of them. Another look at yeah, it. Yeah, here's your replay, Beatty. With the handoff, nowhere to go. Trying to go left side, trying to get outside. He was just held up right away. No gain, third down and 16. 16 with for the St. Uh, Francis. CJ Johnson has the play, comes back into the huddle. See if they look for Bishop. They look for him all night. He's in a tight formation right now. They've got two defenders over on him. Now he's in motion. That almost picked off. My gosh, they floated that out there to Beatty. And it was almost a pick six for Willow Glenn. Another look at it. Yeah, watch this. He was charging. He was right there. Wow, that was wow. number. Yeah, Tyler Howe had his eye. Was, he was watching the band as we had a injury in front of the bench for Willow Glenn. It was number 33, Aaron Reyes, but he was able to come off the field with a little assistance and fortunately not a serious injury, at least doesn't appear to be one. Give to Crooks. Crooks inside the 20 and carries a tackler out of bounds. Down to about the 15 yard line. Brett Bigger forcing him out of bounds. Let her look at it. This is where the Lancers excel so well, this running game and watch that clock just ticking. 
Crooks is grinding away. You can see that just grinding and pounding the turf. Clock is moving. Second down and five for St. Francis. They're at the 15 yard line. Johnson under center. Give to Crooks. Crooks is met. Met. And Big time. gets back maybe to the line of scrimmage. Yeah. They're going to say he might have picked up a yard. It'll be third down. Met by four. Mr. Jonathan Heinkel, a junior. That's our first junior call. 5'10", 225. We'll see him next year. Third down for the Lancers. 622 to go in the game. Three-step drop, pass towards Bishop. Bishop has a touchdown, St. Wow. Francis. <laughs> Braden Bishop yet yeah. again. Jason De La Roca couldn't do anything on the defensive side. Another Boy, look at it. This Bishop's unbelievable, Paulie. Yeah. Look at that. Great toss, too. Nice. And he's going to play baseball in college. These guys have great... Uh, Communication here. Bishop and Johnson. Snap spot yeah. kick is up. Kick is good. 601 to go in the ball game. 35 21 St. Francis. Gotelli and Jenkerson deep for Willow Glenn. Joe Gotelli and Mike Jenkerson. 6-0-1, and I'm, uh, this Willow Glen team impresses me. I'm not counting anything out here. Buddy. No, they, they can they can score yeah. in a hurry. They got a great quarterback at Mitrovisa, and they've got some good receivers. Up and they, Jankerson has it. Scampers tries to break a tackle and gets out over the 30 yard line to the 31. Nice job by Jankerson. Yep. It was kind of a direct shot right to him. Wouldn't float her, so he had plenty of time to get going. 28, uh, Andrew Eggers in on the stop. Revisa has him in the huddle. 5.54 to go in the game. Trips to the left. Revisa rolls to his left, looks, looks, throws deep downfield as a man, complete to Brett Bigger. Bigger loses the ball. It's towards the end zone, picked up by the Lancers, and they're going to bring it back the other way. Number 31 dominant Andragetto, and then a late flag comes in. There's a Lancer that was down for a second. My gosh. What a turn of events. As what did I tell you? Brett Bigger had it. Brett, Another look yeah, at it. Brett Bigger had it and uh, watched the first Lancer came up and popped it right out. Like they're taught to, taught to do. S swipe at it. Number 10, Dave Mappa. Watch him. Watch his right arm. He's going to pop it right out. And there Dominic was. Running nice and slow. There was that late flag. Let's see if we can see what happens there. If somebody behind them, uh, there's a couple Lancers. It's against the Lancers. Yeah. We'll push them back to their own 15 yard line, but that's twice tonight that Willow Glenn has coughed up the ball deep in Lancer territory. That was a phenomenal throw by Revisa. Yeah. So he's scrambling to his left, and to put up a throw like that was. Yep. Was something to yeah, see. And he was open too. Yeah, oh yeah. The heck yeah. Great job by the receiver. Brett Bigger. Nice catch. Oh, Bigger did a nice job to get himself open. The give to Crooks, and Crooks gets out to the 17. 522 to go in the game. Yeah, here's your grinding part of that offense now. So the Lancers have the ball second down and seven. 
at the 18 yard line. Crooks is out, Landon Beatty is back in. Beatty's a sophomore. Brought up by the JVs, yeah. from the JVs when Crooks was mm -hmm. hurt. Give to Beatty, and Beatty. Beatty gets out over the 20 to the 21. Yeah. He'll bring up a third down. Shot of some of the Willow Glen crowd that came up here from the Willow Glen area to watch the game tonight mm -hmm. in Mountain View. Third down and 13 for Willow Glen. As their hopes of an upset are waning here with 2.47 to go in the game. For these are the pass. Throws out of the flat complete to Johnson, and Johnson gets down inside the 45 to the 44 yard line. And it'll bring up a fourth down and about seven. Another look at it. That area cleaned out again, and there he was all by himself. You can see no Lancers around and no offense, but they're a good shot by uh, Matt Mackinson. Fourth and seven, they're trying to get the play called in. It's now officially in there, Revisa. Uh, throwing over towards the sideline and off Ooh. the hands. In and out, there's number. Of Mike Jenkerson, yeah. I believe. And that'll turn yeah. the ball over on downs to St. Francis with just under two minutes to go. And that may have been the last gasp here for Willow Glen. As with less than two minutes to go, the Lancers with one, maybe two first downs could run this clock out. Johnson comes in with the play. C.J. Johnson's played a good game here tonight. Yes, he has. So, so has some nice touches on these touchdown passes. They've got Mappa in the tailback position now. Might be his turn to run the clock and run the ball. He gets out over the 45 yard line or right to the 45. It'll bring up a second down. Willow Glen has one timeout left. Lancer getting up slow. Willow Glen, Willow Glen came out house of fire, and uh, but they had that fumble. I mean, they, well, they had a the couple. They, well. they, they lost the ball twice yeah. in key situations. Key said, yes, sir. And that hurt. But they He's, played a heck of a game. They played a great game. I mean, especially emotionally to lose one of your key players to a a, a very tough injury for a senior to, to have. It, it looks like a very badly broken ankle. The give to Beatty, Beatty. and Beatty gets into Willow Glen territory. Down to the 48, it'll bring up a third down and about a yard. Another look at it. Here's your replay. They got the sophomore in now. Every carry's experience. Nice handoff. Grinding it out. And the Lancers may only have to run one more play here as Willow Glen won't take that last time out. They realize there's nothing they can do down 14. Yeah. And you don't want to get an unnecessary injury late in the game either. So under center, the give to Beatty. Beatty has the first down. And that ought to do it as it will take. That will do it, yeah. They will Let's stop see. the clock momentarily to move the chains. And they wind the clock. We are down to 15 seconds and the Lancers will not run another play. And they will go home with a 35 to 21 victory. And a very, very good high school game played here tonight, Terry Ward. Ac excellent game. I, Willow Glen impressed me. St. Francis impressed me even more. Lancers got their first victory of the season. Willow Glen loses their first game of the season, but they're going to have a heck of a season ahead of them, too, as they've got one very talented quarterback and a plethora of talented receivers. A great job by the Willow Glen Rams coming up here tonight, but the Lancers with a hard-fought 
victory, 35 to 21. They needed this one as they were 0-2 and, and struggling, but a good one here tonight, Mr. Ward. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We'd like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain, our replay operator, Tom Clark, cameras of Elisa Tesla, Tim Erskine, Lucas Herrera, Janet Wu, and Joe De La Asa. We'd like to thank St. Francis High School and Joe Schramm for the stats he always supplies us. We special thanks to Josh Young and Mark Taylor. If you'd like to purchase a DVD copy of any KMVT game, you can go to the website, kmvt15.org, or call the station at 650-968-1540. For all of us here at KMVT, for my compadre, the mailman, Terry Ward, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.